Alrighty guys, now that we have done one of the tutorials, we are going to do the other one. So, um, I mean, hopefully they will be uploaded in order. So let's get back into this. Um, I won't go into any of the basics that I came across in the first tutorial, because you can just go watch that video and uh, it will kind of learn as I do uh, how the game works and what it's about. So this tutorial will teach you about several advanced concepts that are key to earning high scores. You can repeat this tutorial as many times as you want. So the score multiplier, just for now. Uh, first of all, I want to drop my audio a little bit. There we go, okay. Hopefully that won't be too bad. Uh, my frame rate is dropping a little bit. So first of all, I'm just going to fly around for a bit and collect things, I guess. I don't know what this is. Um, hmm. Oh. What what did the objective tell me to do? I'm failing so horribly at this. I would like that super breath over there. Let's just burn this down first. Mega breath it's called, not super breath. I apologise. Uh, okay, score multiplier has been increased. This happens at regular time intervals. Okay, so... Any treasure you bring back to your hoard will be multiplied by your current score. And it includes random prizes and things like that. Um, okay, that sounds pretty good. So it doesn't actually have any... It doesn't change based on how good you're doing, it's just at random intervals. So I guess you want to try and time your trip so you get on the times three. Is that wise? Um, or you don't really want to deposit when you're not on a multiplier. I guess. Come on, burn it down. There we go. Full. Let's go deposit some more. That's flashing. That's a bit worrying. I think it might mean... Oh, it's going up. Okay, that's okay. Let's just... um. Okay. If you are wounded to zero health, you will lose your score multiplier. Okay. Uh, and you will also lose it if anyone steals from our collection. So... Okay. Let's um, upgrade a few things. And finish up depositing, and then let's. Uh, I want to get that gold that's down there, uh, but I will just get this stuff first. I don't know why these people have their gold and their valuables hidden in the wheat fields, or not really wheat fields. It could be any kind of crop, I suppose. Uh, oh, it's flashing. Town tribute. You can convince a town to fear you. Oh, now that's well rather interesting, then. Um, you must do enough damage to... Okay, so... Don't kill the town centre. Okay. A symbol will appear above it. From this point, it will start sending gold to you, and its archers will become your allies. That sounds very interesting. So that's kind of another depth to the game. Um, okay, so... Let's deposit my things, and then go find the towns. Uh... Let's up some stuff a bit so I can get that faster. And uh, hello, cart. So I guess this is the town centre and I've got to destroy the buildings around it, but not the actual centre itself. So not this middle building is what I'm kind of assuming. Uh, let's just see how it goes then. I don't know what that... Oh, right click has put this power up thing around me. I don't know what that does. Um, Okay, um, I assume I'm okay to kill the archers. I want to go deposit this stuff back at my uh, base. Okay, let's put this all down. There we go. And we will head over and uh, see if they've made any more buildings that I can destroy and make them fear me. Okay. There, there we go, so I've made this town fear me. Okay. So that's good then, and there's the symbol above it, meaning that it's mine, I guess. Uh, I guess it's a different colour, depending on if you are playing as a different colour dragon, like in multiplayer mode. Let's level up. Um, get some more damage and some more collection. So as long as those guys don't try anything crafty, like... Uh, stealing my hoard instead of uh, bringing stuff to it, then it should all be fine. 
Okay. Those Archers proved to be a little bit troublesome, but it should be fine. Yes, okay, both towns now fear me, so that's uh, that's a very good strategy, I guess. Um, okay, the hard part is not over. Oh, enemy dragons can... Okay, so... Uh, tribute only works on levels with more than one dragon, okay. So you can't make towns fear you if you are the only dragon there. Uh, okay. Gathering up farm carts. I guess I just destroy the farm carts in that case. I guess that's what it means. And yep, this guy's coming to give me some loot. Bring me some loot, please. Cheers. That is really cool. Um, and I'm, I'm sure I'm fine just destroying these things. What is this power-up? Mega speed. Oh, right-click is utilizing uh, the power-up, so I, I wasn't doing this in the first one. Oh, uh, so right click utili utilizes whichever power up you have picked up. And uh, it seems pretty easy to tell which carts are coming to yours because they will have your symbol above them. Just like the town, so you won't accidentally destroy your own carts. Because that would be pretty bad. Uh, wouldn't really be the wisest thing. Let's get this. I want the princess, please. Cheers. Um, okay. And here's the guy, guy obviously. Oh! I was uh, wounded, okay. I've got to heal up, that guy's going to take my princess away. Come back here, you thief. Okay, there is... I wonder if you can just... Yeah, you can destroy your own carts, but I'm not going to do that. Because um, I'm going to treat my guys kindly. This is what you get for worshipping me. Oh, I should, probably shouldn't kill my own archers. Um, is there another... Should there be another dragon in this map if uh, this is possible, if the tribute is possible? Oh, wizard's towers will spawn. They grow at spots of intense arcane energy. So they shoot powerful magics any t uh, at anywhere that any dragon that comes close. If you can destroy a tower, it will reveal a valuable gem. Uh, okay. You'll be slow and vulnerable. So... Is that the tower then? Let's try and destroy it. Oh! Okay, so you basically gotta shoot it and then dodge the attack and then shoot it some more. That sounds fine by me. Yep, there it is. And I guess I'm maybe standing a little bit too close. There we go, okay. Let's get this gem. So I won't be able to carry any gold and you can see it's all dropped down there. Uh, let's put that there. So, was that just uh, 3,000 gold? Okay, that sounds fair enough. These guys are bringing in a lot of gold, uh, and it's stuff that you don't need to do, so you can spend your time destroying other things whilst these guys are also bringing you more gold. So it definitely looks like the way to go, uh, if you're playing, to try and get as much gold as you can. Because it means you don't have to spend your time destroying these things to get gold. You can spend your time destroying other things, so you'll get the same amount of gold, but you'll also have uh, those guys coming in to help you. And uh, bringing you some stuff that you don't need to worry about, I guess. Oh, the wizard tower is back up. Let's go get that. Let's get this uh, power up to destroy it easier. Oh, I almost got it in one. I thought I could. Uh, but no, no, it shot me. Okay, so... Oh, that scared me actually. Um, oh, it has upgraded, so I guess you could leave the wizard tower if you so desire until it has uh, become up. Oh, it looks much more difficult to kill though now. Uh, fortunately, it doesn't seem to regenerate health very quickly, if at all. And I think it's regenerating it slowly, isn't it? Uh, yeah, and it's just regular intervals. It's just like, uh, there we go. A giant has appeared. Oh. He may even smash your allied towns, but if you defeat him, he'll drop a ton of gold, so that's kind of like a boss. Let's deposit this, and then go get him. Come here, boy. He's not attacking me, he's just going for the towns, it seems. Oh, no, he's attacking me now. He might even leave the kingdom. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. 
Ah, no, he's not going to follow me. He's going to just change path. Oh, he's just going to walk in a different direction and go somewhere else where he will assume that, um, I guess he'll assume... Oh, he's going to leave the kingdom. Okay, but we've got him destroyed. Let's get his gold. I hope he's dropped a lot of it. Okay, it may take you a couple of trips to gather all his gold. Okay. Oh, are you a thief? Get away from my place. That uh, crafty devil thought he could get me while I was protecting the kingdom. This is what I get for trying to be a good uh, a good dragon. You know, not an evil dragon. Shame on me, I guess. Uh, I'll go back to being an evil dragon. Okay, let's upgrade some stuff. And pick up... Oh, I can still upgrade something. Okay, there we go. Uh, okay. Oh, there's another thief coming along. Oh, and the wizard tower is back. I might leave that until it grows more. Oh, it has grown more powerful. Okay. I don't like the look of this tower with its knights. And I haven't seen a princess in a while. Let's go find a princess that I could kidnap. Uh, because kidnapping princesses is always a good idea if you are a villain of any sort, really. Oh, I thought I would have dodged that, but no. Um, no. It's a learning experience, though, so it's okay, it's okay, no worries about it. Oh, I got a thief there, just in the air crossfire, but he got what he deserved, so it's fine. And let's get this 5,000 gem and take it over. There we go. Uh, ah, so that must be what the symbol means on the ground. The swirly things mean a mage tower can spawn there. Uh, which is kind of interesting then. Fireballs, oh. So I guess those are longer range perhaps? That's my guess. Yes. Much longer range. Those would be very good for... Um, oh, is that a thief? Uh, those would be very good for taking out things like I probably shouldn't destroy my own things, but uh, oh, did the other cart pick up the um, the first one's items when it dropped the, the gold on the ground? That is very handy. There's a princess, but um, anyway, yeah, I imagine the fireballs would be pretty good for oh, uh, I imagine the fireballs would be pretty good for. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep saying this until the end of the video, um, but for taking out the wizard tower. Okay, now that I know how to use power-ups, I'm going to use this to take out that guy. Because uh, I never used the ice one before. Because I didn't realise how to use power-ups. It probably said and I missed it. And everyone would be like, oh my god, you're such a noob. Um, hopefully I should have some Minecraft stuff up with a friend that I've been talking to. Um, that'll be very fun, I hope. Uh, we played a game and... I managed to die to both a bed and a pig in the game, which was a bit odd. Uh, you don't really want to know how that happened. But, um, yeah. Let's upgrade my stuff. Oh, and get hit by that nearly. I have fireballs, so let's see if it is as good as I uh, imagine. Yeah, it's so much, uh, so much better because you have so much more time. Whoops, I didn't mean to destroy you, uh, friendly cart. Can I get this there in time? Yes, there we go. Okay, so that was the second tutorial. Um, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you later.